cool. Um, speaking of golf, uh, Lisa Strom is our new uh, Michigan Women's Open champion. It happened at Crystal Mountain. Tim High is there, uh, having covered the event all week in the Thompsonville area, just south of Traverse City, just north of Manistee. Good morning. Well, good morning, Michael. We didn't have much wind at Crystal Mountain either this week, but the scores certainly aren't as low or weren't as low as they are doing at the British Open this morning. In fact, I'm looking at the final leaderboard there, and uh, you had only two players in the entire field under par. Yep, it was the same two players all week. Lisa Strom, who was an LPGA player and went to Ohio State, and uh, Susie Green from Michigan. And uh, after the third or uh, after the second round and things are finally finished, Lisa Strom overtakes a three-shot deficit and beats Susie Green by one shot on the last hole. She sunk a, a birdie putt to win. And, I mean, that's the best you can hope for in terms of drama, right? It really is. I mean, Susie put the pressure on her. Susie bir birdied 18 which tied things up, and um, uh, Lisa had to chip on and uh, putt from eight feet downhill, and uh, she did it. So she was awfully pleased when she came off the course. She talked about being in a situation where your heartbeat rises, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what and, and then the headline is Strom Storms from Behind. I like the alliteration there. Very nice. Yes, and uh, that's what she wanted. She says you, know, you go to these state events so that you can get yourself in, the, in a position or your tournament tough, and so when you go on the LPGA tour or whatever, you you know you feel like you've been there before, and that's why we get so many women that come to Crystal Mountain, uh, and so many professionals uh, from so many states. In fact, uh, Laura Keeney, who had just come over, she's from Whitehall, Michigan, played at Michigan State, just came back from the uh, Michigan Women's Open, and uh, she finished three over par, so she was five back. Stacy Slobodnik stole uh, the Michigan State women's golf coach way back there in 19th because of a 78 in the second round and I saw Rebecca Klinger yesterday who was playing out at Walnut Hills and she uh, had been at the uh, mi the uh, US Women's Open the week before because she coaches one of the players the Australian players and she said man those fairways were narrow those greens were fast the temperature was hot so it was probably pretty nice uh, to get up to Crystal Mountain after a situation like that well I would think so and I think the biggest adjustment for um, uh, Laura was uh, what her expectation level was. Yeah. She expected to go so low after playing at such a prestigious event and then coming to Michigan to play in the Michigan Women's Open. She told us she thought she'd make everything on the, on the greens at Crystal Mountain, but it just wasn't meant to be. And, um, and she was beat by two players that have a lot more experience than she does. The golf is a cruel mistress, isn't it? Sometimes it's oh. with you. And I guess with women, you'd have to some, pick something different than mistress, but <laughs> I think they'd understand, though. <laughs> yeah. By the way, Rory McIlroy just hit it stone dead at 18 at the British Open. He is going to have a three-shot lead by the time we get done on the phone here. Oh and uh, he, sensational guy with all that fluffy hair and uh, from Northern Ireland and making his way up to the to the green right now. And some of the guys who are making their way up in competition this weekend are not only at the Open Championship. They're at the Invitational at the Country Club of Lansing. And I saw yesterday a whole bunch of people you would know. Steve Wickens was showing off his fancy new green and white golf shoes and Dan mm -hmm. Lepp and Pat Pritchard and Pat Gillespie and, uh, and uh, Gregory Eaton were all out there having their practice rounds. So if you get back from Crystal Mountain in time, their stag night is tonight. I'm sure they'd love to see you. <laughs> That's always a fun place to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone will want to know Lauren Thompson stories from the Golf Channel. Like, over at Walnut last night, uh, Kirk Squires and a bunch of guys were out there having fun. It's You know, you, you can say that that son of a gun on the radio is talking a lot of golf today, but uh, after all, it's a big part of pure Michigan and a big part of our economy. So thank you very much for the report from the Michigan Women's Open, and we'll see you soon. All right, Michael, thank you for all your coverage. We appreciate it.